We're back with another week in my life vlog. I'm back from LA. <sighs> if you guys watch the LA vlogs, you would know there was a heat wave that weekend, this past weekend. Yesterday was Labor Day, we got back. And our hotel room was 90 degrees. So I got back and I actually went to my family's lake house. I had a gender reveal for my stepsister. And Lauren had to stay at my house. All the power was out. There was a crazy storm in Dallas. She texted and is like, you're never gonna believe this. Your AC is out. And so at that point we're thinking, okay, like a breaker, we need to just fix something. It's not a big deal. No, my AC fully broke. So then, long story short, I just got it. I haven't had AC for like four days in a heat wave and in Texas. So that my life is back together. Um, I am on my way to Sprouts. I'm feeling the fall vibes. Listen, like traveling is great and all, but there's just nothing like being home, honestly, and your comfort grocery store. And I haven't been to Sprouts in months. I'm more of a farmer's market girly these days, but um, I wasn't here this weekend and I don't think we have any farmer's markets during the week that I found. So we're going to Sprouts and I'm so excited. We're going to boxing tonight. I'm taking a later class because it's my favorite teacher. Um, this week I have a photo shoot. The breadwinning housewife set is dropping in like an hour in real time. Um, and we just have got some, we've got some good things coming for you. So subscribe if y'all are new here. I will never, ever, ever again take AC for granted. And I mean ever, ever again, ever. Never, never, never. Back from the grocery store, I have so many groceries. This tote bag can fit like everything you would ever possibly need and I somehow still needed bags. I have never had to use more than just this tote bag. So I got a lot of stuff. I'm here for three weeks. I have a lot of cooking that I wanna do this week. I also got a basil plant. I couldn't find the basil and then I, I saw the plant and I kinda of wanna get a cute little, like maybe from a bode, a cute little pot. We'll see, I've been wanting this anyway. So we'll see if I keep that alive. I'll show you guys a haul. All right guys, doing a little grocery haul. Ignore the stuff outside. Also, I hate how much plastic there is. I'm trying to get better about it, but when I'm grocery shopping, like I feel like I have so many different things. Like what am I supposed to do? Um, I don't know, let me know, but it's definitely really annoying. So I got this bread. I actually weirdly like gluten-free bread a lot. I don't know why, it's very odd. My mom is celiac, so I'm kind of just used to it, but I like how it's smaller. I just think it's cuter. Like I'll eat more, but I just think it's like cuter, you know? I have some chicken, just shredded chicken, easy. Um, these roasted and salted jumbo cashews, honey roasted pecans for a recipe, limes, lemons, and they never have limes when I'm wanting to make margs. I got chicken breast and then scallops, um, some balsamic vinegar, capers. Oh, I'm really excited to try this. It's this vodka sauce. I love vodka sauce. And it looks like the ingredients are pretty good. Like, I felt good about it. Anyways, it looks good. And look, she's cute, Lydia's. Olipop, I'm a big root beer girl. I'm not a huge soda girl, and I don't really drink it really ever. I don't know why, I just haven't really drank soda regularly in years. But I love Olipop classic root beer. I'll probably have one today. I also got hazelnut creamer. My grandma makes her coffee with hazelnut creamer. It's the best coffee ever, so I copied her. Kombucha, better booch, always my fave. Almond milk for um, my cereal, Maddox Spoon. I have some pasta, eggplant, peaches, of course, sweet potato, and my new plant. Oh, and onions. And I feel like avocados, I feel like that's it. This is a lot of food, um, and I'm ready to cook for the week. All right, so for late breakfast, this looks disgusting, but I just sliced up sweet potato, put it in the air fryer, and that's avocado. So like instead of bread, I'm using sweet potato. And then I'm doing sauerkraut. This sauerkraut is very like flavored or else I would do like balsamic glaze or something, but doing some other things. I promise it's good, it just doesn't look good. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. I stopped vlogging yesterday because I was just so tired that like nothing was even making sense. Yeah, I'm on my way to the trail, I have a call after, and then I have weightlifting, and then I have a dry bar appointment. I have a shoot today, so I'm getting a care makeup done. Well, I'm getting a blah, and then I'm getting my makeup done. And yeah, I'm going to Fort Worth, which is truly my favorite place. And I'm gonna take you guys along with 
Oh my gosh, it's like getting cooler out and I'm so excited for when it's the mornings that I'm gonna have to be in like a full sweat set going on walks when it's cold out. I will be a new person. My pumpkin coffee is waiting for me at Starbucks. Like I am I'm feeling good. I'm about to go into my weightlifting class. I have like every product imaginable in my purse right now besides the one I need. Just kidding, I found it. This lip balm, Old School YouTube, is the best and you can put it on at night before you go to bed and you wake up with it on in the morning so it doesn't happen. Anyways, I'm going into workout and then after this I have a blowout appointment. Like how incredible is that? I like scheduled my life so well, you know? I really love, love the mornings. my blowout appointment I'm just letting my curls like sit and then I'll mess them up later there's just nothing like not having to do your own hair it's my least favorite part of my day and that's why I normally don't do it but today I have a shoot so I just wanted to get you know make it look a little bit better I ordered some lunch I sweet green here and my go-to the hot honey chicken plate it's so good I've got like 30 minutes until really like almost I think an hour actually until making get makeup gets here so I need to shower get cozy I have so much stuff to put away oh my god I've showered and changed into comfy clothes I have all my outfits ready I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a haul this is a fall haul if you will um I got some new socks I wanted some socks with like frills at the end to wear with loafers and sneakers and just whatever so these are pretty tall I might fold them down I think it's just so cute and it adds so much to a look. I feel like all I do is clean out my closet and then I'm like, I have nothing to wear, but I have so many things to wear. I will say I've never been more excited about fall fashion and like all I wear is really simple basics and a good sweater and cute shoes and like good accessories and like a nice coat, but like that is my most ideal way to dress. Every cute outfit that I am like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's a fall outfit. Like, summer's okay. It's honestly, it would be nice if I wasn't just like miserable in the heat all the time. But I love like dresses and cowboy boots, obviously. But there's only like so much you can do, right? But like in the fall, go wear my jeans, cowboy boots, sweater. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm into that. So, very excited. Speaking of sweaters, I did a little bit of shopping for the Madewell sale. First thing I got was this little like cardigan thing. I actually might put this on right now. Not that I can like wear it outside yet, but my house is a bit chilly. I need to finish my matcha. I'm gonna have another coffee today. I just know it, but whatever. Okay, like I got it in a large and it's this cute cardigan, but it's like almost a little bit nicer because of the collar. I'll show you guys like this. Like it's actually just really, really cute. And I love it. I got it on sale from Madewell, but I'll link it below if they still have it available. I just like can never have too many sweaters. I I have so many. I could do a whole collection. I've been buying some nonstop too. Like I'm I'm out of control. Next sweater. This is really cute and it's perfect for Texas because I can wear it earlier or I can just pair this, like layer this up. So if I'm not in a place that's like literally negative 10 degrees and I want to do so many layers, you gotta go sleeveless so then you're not dying, right? I love a good turtleneck, cow neck, this under a coat looks so cute, or even just over a long sleeve like skims top, I love. And then the last thing I got is this sweater, which is just a classic, like these are sweaters that I'll probably keep forever, for many seasons to come. And I did get this oversized, I got it in a size medium, if you want it fitted, like I honestly could probably do an extra small, but I just kind of like this vibe. This with jeans, loafers, slides, whatever. Super cute, love that. So that is I think my fall haul. Oh, I got another little wood thing for my legs. I've been really bad about doing that. I actually need to cut this. Um, I'm actually gonna be getting cryotoning, which essentially like 
makes your legs or wherever you get it, I'm getting on my legs, like more firm. So like reduces visible cellulite. It's really good for you. Um, and I'm starting out this week and then I will go, I think I'll actually get it done before I even leave for Nashville in a few weeks. So I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to Restore Hyper Wellness, which is where I go in Dallas to like my sauna in, uh, I'm gonna do like ice therapy and stuff. Okay, I saw there's another um, infrared place in Dallas opening in West Village as well, and I really want to try that out. So this is really good for you in general. So need to get back on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it of what I've purchased recently. I just have a box of things that I need to keep and take upstairs. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed my nice fall haul. Getting my makeup done by Kristen today, my favorite makeup artist in Dallas. Conveniently, she's also Presley's sister, one of my best friends, so makes my life easier, but I'm gonna like get the vibe going, you know? I'm living for the fall. Also, I feel so loved by you guys because everyone's so excited for my fall content. I think because you guys also just, you get me in the fall and like maybe I'm just, I'm not my best self in the summer. I'm really not. I'm just not that happy and in the fall, I'm like, this is the best life I've ever lived, you know? So anyways, like I feel, oh my God, so cozy, so happy. I love it. Guys, I got the most exciting PR package that I've literally ever had. As you can see, I'm already drinking it. Um, we have bone broth. I don't always just straight up drink it. A lot of the time I put it in soup, but it just depends. In the fall, I drink it a lot more. It is so good for you. Kettle on Fire is my favorite brand of bone broth. I'll also get it at the farmer's market. There's a few other ones that I get, but Kettle on Fire is like my go-to. Also, Kristen is doing my makeup, did an amazing job. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, and she left me powder and lip gloss. That is incredible. I wish I was showing y'all with the light because the light was so good, but like, wow. I love this. I did a little wing, which I normally don't do, and it's just like perfect love. So anyways, if you guys need a makeup artist in Dallas, Kristen Vera, I'm telling you, she's so good. And also she has a studio now in McKinney, which sucked to my hometown, which is where we're all from. Um, and she is so good. Out of any makeup artist I've ever used, I'm not just saying this because we are like, I know them. Out of any makeup artist I've ever, ever used, she is my favorite. There's no one who does my makeup better than her, and she's so good. So if you need her for, like, any events or even, like, weddings or whatever, she does everything. So check her out. Incredible. Like, I just love it. So I'm going to check my bone broth, and then we need to head out very soon. I need to shoot two, like, brand deals on the way. Not, like, in the car. I to shoot them before I head off to Fort Worth. And then we're doing a nice little Fort Worth shoot. I love Fort Worth. I have been in the city of Fort Worth for about, I don't know, two minutes. And, okay, and my mood has drastically in increased. I keep trying to talk to the camera this week and I just like can't talk. I literally had to stop vlogging yesterday because like I just wasn't making any sense. Um, but I'm just in such a good mood. I love being here. Oh, we're gonna start at Thompson's. I'm just so excited. I've never been here. Uh, up until this very second, I thought we were going to the Thompson Hotel and I was like, oh, I didn't know they have one in Fort Worth. Nope, nope, we're going to a bar thing called Thompson's. It looks cute. And I think I'm getting like an espresso martini for a photo or something, I don't know. Oh, that's the curb, wow. Okay guys, didn't vlog literally at all today. Um, but we need to talk about something really horrible that's happened to me. I am no longer funny. And I think I'm one of those people who's like secretly funny. Like there's other people who are obviously funny. Like Dom is obviously funny. And my sense of humor is more like secret. Like not everyone knows. I don't know what happened, but like I'm just not funny anymore. It's been a few weeks, there's nothing wrong, nothing going on at home, nothing bad happening in my life. I just am not funny. Like nothing I say is funny. I'm not landing jokes. I don't know what happened to me. So that's bad. Also, I forgot to tell you guys this. The other day at Sprouts, um, I was getting like meat and fish and stuff, the things I wanted to cook with this week, which I am now realizing I got too much, oh, Good, this is actually for a recipe. I got too many recipes to make because I'm like too tired to cook tonight and then tomorrow, well, I guess I could cook tonight. I just don't feel like it. Tomorrow, um, I'm now going to the spa, the Thompson, so maybe I'll cook when I get home, we'll see. I'm trying out this new moisturizer in the morning instead of using like my expensive product, um, like when I first go to work out. So I'll let you guys know how I like it. But anyways, the guy, like, I when I ordered them, granted, I got a lot of scallops, but it's only because I haven't cooked scallops before, and I thought, like, maybe I would mess them up, so I got them a lot, whatever, doesn't matter. And then he goes, are you cooking for a lot of people? 
I was like, no, but obviously I said, yeah, I'm such an entertainer. <laughs> obviously I'm cooking for myself. I think the guy was just letting me in on the fact that like 10 scallops is too many and it is. But he doesn't know trial and error, you know? These Olipop drinks have been hitting the spot. It's first time I got one this week and the, one, the last one in my fridge, but Olipop root beer flavor, there's nothing, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Oh. You know, I need to play a really good makeup day. Obviously, I didn't do my makeup, but when you have a really good makeup day, you just like don't want to wash your face. That's the right now. I actually need some work done, so I'm gonna be working probably like the next hour or so. Staying up late for me, woohoo, you know? I have clothes to put away, but I just like, don't want to do it. So, get that one out. Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. Back in the kitchen again. Day 580, waking up not funny. I don't know what is going on with me, guys. I would like my personality back. And I'm not sad. Like, I'm just not funny. Also, I know I have spot trimming on. I'm not going over that. My face is so puffy. Like, I just woke up puffy. Today is Thursday. And I have a cryo toning appointment where it basically like tones your like we'll get we'll get into that there. For cryo toning appointment, I have Pilates, I have therapy. Um, I'm gonna make a new recipe, and then tonight I have an event at the Thompson that's like at the spa, which the Thompson Spa is my favorite thing. I'm not sure exactly what we are doing at the event. I think it's like some facial things or something and cocktails or something. Yeah, I wish I would have vlogged yesterday to show you guys the cute stuff in Fort Worth. Like I, I just like need, you know what? I'm gonna make the scallops. Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh yeah, oh, oh yep. Yeah. I'm organizing my fridge today too. I stayed up last night very late working and that's why my work schedule isn't as crazy. I have stuff to do this morning when I get back from my walk, but. I stayed up so late last night and I also started reading the, a book. It's like one of those like scientist books. Um, actually, it's the Redhead's pick, which I didn't even realize when I picked it up, but I read like 20% of it on the first night and loved it, but I'm like not zooming past anymore. On these, are, is the textured side supposed to be on your skin or is the soft side supposed to be on your skin? And I like whizzed through it and now I'm kind of getting like, I think I'm only like halfway through. I don't know, I need to just like not read super late. Like tonight when I get home, I need to read. <laughs> Oh, great. Love of my dad. Love of my habits. Love. Being like a health queen these days, it's really not as easy as it seems. And the hard part is not even the part of like being healthy. The hard part is really scheduling it all in with cryotoning. So basically, I just went in there and I didn't film it. So I know, what do you guys think about like parents putting their kids online? Like I, I'm not like online. Like I know I post my knees. I'm not, I don't really have an opinion. That's why I'm asking but more so like family vloggers, like more so like you're profiting off of it. Like, but if it is your job, I don't know. It's just like a very, I obviously don't have kids, so I have like no right to chime in. Like I have literally no idea, but I'm just like curious what the general idea is. Anyways, back to being a health queen. Um, it is so hard to fit it all into your schedule. I'm doing five of these sessions by the time I leave for Nashville, which is in like three weeks, two weeks maybe, I can't remember. And we schedule it all in, and then also I was scheduling in all my saunas, all my workouts, all my whatever, and like this is like a really, uh, duh. it's not like a problem to have, I'm just saying like, what these health people don't tell you is, it takes a lot of time, like a lot, a lot of time. So anyways, I'm feeling great though. Um, they basically just like freeze your skin, kind of, like that's what it feels like, they're doing more than that. Um, and it's like 15, minutes per section and I'm doing the front and the back of my legs. It's called cryotoning. I'm getting it done at Restore. Um, I'm paying for this by the way. It's not like a sponsorship or anything, but I'm getting it done at Restore Hyper Wellness in West Village. And essentially it is supposed to just like really tone up your legs. It, I work out obviously all the time. I'm very active. I eat pretty healthy. And it's just like kind of an insecurity of mine. And I was like, you know what? I like might as well do it. Um, and yeah, I've noticed, I will say, and I want to talk about this, like maybe in the next vlog. Um, I have noticed like a lot more, um, just like cellulite this year, which is like also so fine and so, so, so normal, especially I feel like in your mid twenties, that's what everyone tells me. And like, that's what I see online or like I hear people talk about and it's like really, really normal. And it's not that I like want this like crazy body or I feel like I'm the Lord, I love my love body. I need to look a certain way or anything like that, but just something that I like, wanted to do for myself. 
But yeah, also, I just want to say, if you are in your mid-20s and your body is changing, I am right there with you. It is so normal. It happens to everyone. And I think what made me feel so honestly, like, okay with it, like, I did have moments where I was like, <laughs> um, but I got to feel a lot more okay with it because I followed people online who were talking about it, and it made me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, but I just, like, I feel like a lot of my jeans don't fit anymore, so I just, like, ordered a bunch of new jeans because your clothes are meant to fit your body your body is not meant to fit your clothes so i was like i'm not even gonna make a big deal out of this and i'm just gonna get jeans that i actually like i also think i i have this theory that my butt has gotten bigger i really i really have this theory and i didn't notice it i don't feel like it looks bigger but i have this theory and that's also what's happening and i think it's the workouts um but it also i think is partly like my body changing but i do have a theory i have a theory that my butt has gotten bigger and that's why my pants don't fit because I was putting them on yesterday and uh, that, that was the problem. So that's what I'm telling myself. And even if it's not true, I don't care because I have a theory. The only thing with this, I don't have like downtime or anything. I'm just not supposed to like have a bunch of like carbs or sugar within like two hours only because it would like kind of derail the process. Um, not that I like can't eat those or anything like that or like that they're bad. It's just like what you're not supposed to do with like, if you're interested in cryotoning, that's like basically like the one thing. And I think I'm gonna like take my alcohol consumption down a ton, like a lot, a lot until I leave for Nashville, except for Taryn's birthday. Because one, I just feel better when I'm not like binge drinking and two, I now have this thing that's like keeping me up to date and track, you know? Like I'll have a drink or two at dinner and out, but like I, I don't wanna do it anymore. At least right now. I, I won't feel that way later this fall, but like for this month, I just getting myself right, like my mind right. And alcohol does not help my mind. No, it does not. It does not help my mind, not at all. It actually helps your mind in the moment. Actually, that's not even true. No, it, it actually doesn't help your mind even in the moment at all. It's just fun. I wish I was, I like can't shut up right now, but like I really wish I was one of those people who doesn't, who didn't, who doesn't, didn't like alcohol. Like I don't like weed. You know, and that's convenient. But also, I'm like, why Why do I have to love alcohol so much? Like, I wish that I was like, oh, no, not fun. I actually hate it. It makes me feel bad and out of control. Like, I wish I felt that way. When people say that, I'm like, oh, my God. That would be awesome. Because you genuinely don't like it. Like, I, I genuinely love it. So, like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Not, like, too much. Obviously, I don't have, like, a problem. Like, it's not that. It's just, like, I like drinking. And it would be convenient if I didn't like drinking. I'm jealous of people like that. And if you don't like drinking, um, can you tell me why besides the hangovers? Cause like obviously that's the part that I don't like. Um, Cause then maybe I can start like tricking myself. I do that a lot. I'll just like, almost like gaslight myself into thinking like, I don't know, I used to do those other things. What was it? I think I've probably done it in breakups and stuff. I don't really know what I used to do it for. I used to really live by that mantra and I, I couldn't tell you what the mantra really was about. That's one thing about me. I figured everything. So anyways, um, maybe I'll trick myself into not liking alcohol. I think it's not likely, but uh, I would like to do it. Look at what I just made. I had therapy, I've been working, and then I cooked this meal. Sweet potatoes and garlic, we've got some tomatoes, we've got some chili paste, we've got some basil, we've got a lot of things, and then scallops. It looks amazing. I don't even think you can tell how beautiful it is on camera, but it's just beautiful. I thought I had an event at the Thompson tonight. Then about 15 minutes before I was about to leave, I realized that it is not tonight, it is next week. Um, I'm sorry I'm doing this in my face mask, but uh, my Abercrombie jeans, did come in though, so we can continue our talk um, about just putting clothes up at you and not you fitting your clothes. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul. I don't even think I got the right size, I'm not sure. I'm gonna show you guys, my favorite jeans right now are from Abercrombie. Um, one of my favorite pairs did break, but like it could have been anything. It was my favorite pair ever, and so I think I replaced them, I can't remember, but I'll show you guys. Okay, so I got these jeans and I don't know how I feel about them. I just kind of wanted to like try them on and see, maybe I'll, so you guys here. I like trying kind of like weirder jeans on just to see how I feel. I mean, they fit. I do get a size 28. They're just like, okay. Like I feel fine about them, but maybe I would like them in the fall with the sweater. I actually kind of think they're cute. And then maybe with a the heel. Actually, the more I wear them, the more I like them. 
So these are the actual jeans, just so you know. I'll try to link all these below, but sometimes they just like are out of stock by the time I post the video. So anyways, I like these, 28. And I got a 28 pretty much across the board. A lot of my other jeans I think are like 26, 27, 28. It really just depends. I feel like jean sizes are so unfair depending on where you shop because it's not even like across the board at one store. At different, at the same store, you'll have different sizes. It's very annoying. Okay, so these jeans were definitely tighter and like kind of hard to button, but I will say with Abercrombie jeans, they stretch out pretty quickly. So I almost want to keep these because they will actually probably fit me. But I do like the ankle on these. I feel like these were my favorite ones that I broke before. But again, it's still a size 28. These are the actual style right here. Um, but they're cute. Like, I like them. Even though they are really tight right here, it will stretch out. So I think I'm just gonna... I think we're just gonna keep. All right, so my next pair of jeans. These are it. I will say, like, they're nothing special. They're just really simple, easy jeans. They're pretty like straight legged, kind of skinny almost compared to a lot of other ones. But they're really comfortable. Like I don't think that they're like super flattering or like crazy cute or anything. And the ankle is a little bit thinner, Like, I, but something about them like makes me want to keep it. I don't know, but they're kind of boring. Like I'm not obsessed with them. By the way, these are all Curve Love. I think I forgot to say that. That's the really important part. Um, basically Curve Love I think gives you like an extra two inches here I think I don't know they just fit better and like you know when you like put on a pair of jeans and it like fits your butt or doesn't fit your butt but fits your legs like whatever Curve Love kind of fixes that problem for me like they're just like really simple classic jeans I don't know what do you guys think I'm undecided if I have more returns maybe I'll return them but if I don't then I'm just gonna keep them if I don't have to return it you know Okay, I love how these jeans fit like my waist area. They are super loose, which makes them really comfortable. Like I could wear them like tomorrow to dinner or something and feel really comfy in them. I think they're a little bit too loose for what I normally like, but like honestly, if I just wear these heels easy top tomorrow, like that's cute and they're really lightweight. So they're good for like the time being because they don't make you look too hot. This crease is driving me insane. Like, I don't want to iron my jeans, but I actually really like these. And then I picture them with, like, heels. I, I like this. It's cute. All right, I also love these. These are the fit that I'm putting on right now. Love the stomach area. They're high-waisted, cozy, comfy. They're a little bit, like, thicker material. And I really like them. Like, I think they're cute. And I love these. So I'm keeping every pair that I got. These are so cute. The style is right here. Abercrombie jeans, they really could have been a 28. So like maybe, I don't know, maybe I just like wore through them and they weren't fitting or I'm not finding the right jeans in my closet. I don't really know. Oh, this button is unbuttoned. <laughs> don't mind that. But um, I feel a lot better now that I have jeans that I feel like confident and comfortable in. Like so much better. But yeah, your body goes through changes and that's so normal. Obviously, it's like a difficult thing to go through, I think especially as a girl. But just remember, your clothes fit you, you don't fit your clothes. So anyways, I'm feeling good, actually. Like, I really like these jeans. And I was kind of dreading this haul because I was like, ugh, trying on jeans just sucks. And then if I like don't find ones that like fit or they're not flattering or they're like too tight or whatever, I feel like for the most part, these all fit really well. And they're all curve love. Important to note, um, that is what makes the biggest difference for me in Abercrombie jeans. So yeah, I just love them. But right now, <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. Or I think it's like six actually, but I have my candle burning. I have my drink. I'm having pretty bad anxiety today So I'm just gonna get in bed get cozy and read my book. I started a new book the other night I think I told you guys I can't remember that's actually the redheads pick But I started it before they even announced it like perfect timing um, Lessons in chemistry. I'm 44% of the way through honestly could even finish it tonight. You never know with me but um, I really actually am enjoying it. The first 20% I like breeze through really quick. And also, has anyone read He Will Be My Ruin by K.A. Tucker? I love K.A. Tucker. And I just need to know. That's like, I think, probably my next read. I don't know. I can never tell until like I'm right, I'm reading right then and there. But hopefully I finish this one tonight. Good morning, guys. I cannot wait for tomorrow. And I can sleep past 7 because I am so tired. I went to bed early last night. When I'm really anxious, I don't know about y'all, but like sometimes I just like need to lay in bed and read a book and go to bed. Um, but I ordered cookies. I'm about to go on a walk and then 
It's 7.30 right now, and then I have um, boxing today. I have an eye doctor appointment finally because I literally cannot see. Like, it is really bad, and every friend of mine is like, please go to the eye doctor. It's been years. Um, I have before. I've had glasses. I just, like, need an upgraded, updated prescription. And then, oh, I have a laser appointment. I kind of want to go to the mall because I need to pick up some gifts for people for birthdays and housewarming things this month. And also, I think I'm gonna take my solo date there because like I haven't been shopping in forever and I'm kind of feeling it, um, just for like a little bit. And yeah, tonight I have dinner. I have a lot of work in between that, but I think I'm gonna work from like appointments and stuff too. Not trying to be negative, just being, what is it, BFFFR? B for fucking for real, something like that. Do you guys ever have those weeks? Sometimes this happens to me after a holiday weekend when I'm traveling or just like randomly, where you're like so excited to just like get back on top of everything and then you just like do the opposite and like the AC and all this stuff messing up and then my routine got messed up and whatever. But like I just like haven't been in like a, pr it's not that I'm not in a productive mood. Like I am in a productive mood, but like my brain is moving so slow. You know, like there are times where I'm like, I just like can't get anything done. It's not like that. It's just that like I am working, but I'm just like doing it at like 50% of what I could be doing it at. And since I'm like so obsessed with productivity, it like literally drives me insane. So that's where I'm at this week. Like I'm just so, ugh, you know, but I feel like it's going to go away and I'm going to have a nice, like good weekend. And I think after this weekend, I'll come back next week and be like amazing. Do you guys prefer just like week of my life vlogs or do you like when I'm doing like a reading vlog specifically or like routines and like whatever? Let me know, because I kind of do want to film a week in my life vlog next week, but I also want to film a reading called a different books vlog, so y'all let me know. I want to do a cooking video, too. Alright guys, made it to North Park. I finished my appointments, my eyes are dilated, can't really see well. I haven't been here in forever, it's truly one of my favorite places. We're looking back at my old comments on like fabulous TikToks. <laughs> and it was like, um, I'm begging you to go have like chicken fingers and a martini. And I had one of those things where it's like day two of you ask of me asking you to go on a date with me. 